evening, my people. I just bring on a story for this evening. Make on a listen as the Nigeria and forces have been warned not to involve in any form of military rule because our able president Ahmed Tinubu said that he wouldn't allow any army to raise the issue of military rule. If not, the person will be sacked. The person will cease to be a member of armed forces or you seek to do another job. That is the penalty. So that anybody caught in this action will be penalized. So, is advising all the military personnel to mind their business and focus more on their work. If not, they will be fired. So, that means that anybody that is planning anything in order to make him to be in order to frustrate his effort in his office, he will be fired because being that he's the one in charge, is the number one person, our president is the number one person in Nigeria. So whoever, any subordinate that is under him that is trying to plan coup against him, he will be penalized. So it seems to be that he has the final say. But whatever we, we know that is good, let us not hesitate in doing them and say the right thing, do the right thing to save others and to save our Nigeria. I read the news. Coup alert. Nigerian army sent serious warning to soldiers planning to overthrow government and see it was announced. The Nigerian military establishment has issued a storm caution to any soldier who might be contemplating to subvert the move of overthrow the democratically elected government led by President Bola Tinubu, Major Mohammed Takuti Usan, the General Officer Commanding GOC of the 81 Divisional of uh, Nigeria Army delivered his own equivocal message on August 30th. They unequivocally warned that any army of disloyalty within the rank of Nigeria Armed Forces would not be tolerated. Advising a gathering of soldiers at the 35th Alitri Brigade located in Alamala, Bekuta, Ogun State. Usman asserted the paramount importance of loyalty to the president. He, he underscored the hierarchy of this loyalty to the president, indicating that it should cascade from the president to the chief of defense staff, chief of armed staff, and subsequently to the prospective brigade commander. In no uncertain term, the senior military leader emphasized that Nigeria emphasized that Nigerians who are unable to uphold the loyalty are at liberty to voluntarily resign, to resign voluntarily and pursue other avenue of employment. This caution remark come against backdrop of a military corps witnessed across the several African nations, with the latest occurrence being in Gabon, just the previous Wednesday, standing beside the brighter the Brigadier General Mohammed Tadjijin Aminu, the commander 
the commander Usman acknowledged the existing challenges faced by Brigade Command. He assured his audience that these challenges are not exclusive to the particular command and the higher the higher engage of formulating strategy to the effectively address them to effectively address them in a bid to further the reinforcement the value of discipline loyalty and unwavering professionalism major general usman fervently charged all soldiers to consequently manifest this virtue in their service during the course of the visit the goc inaugurated a quarter guide project at the barrack. On this occasion, he made a project observation that underscored the pivotal role of armed forces in maintaining national security stability. National security and stability. He asserted that. The very safety of Nigeria hints on the steadfast presence of its dedicated soldier. So, the military firm stand against any political disloyalty within its rank aligned with the principle of democratic governance and the rule of law by was first warning against any subversive action. The Nigeria Arm understood its command, understood its commitment to the preservation of the nation democratic institution and the orderly functioning of its government. In a broader context, this proclamation resonates with collective effort by African nations to uphold democratic forms amidst the backdrop of political turbulence as the nation continues to navigate through the challenges unwavering dedicated of its armed force remain a cornerstone of its stability and progress so the Nigerian army is warning seriously against soldiers plotting to overthrow Tunubu government. There is no space for that, and there is no need for us to do.